Jim had a lot more to deal with and he there was a lot more pressure that was on him that fell on him and he was also putting on himself there's there's three times as many characters more characters um, the world is bigger the stakes are higher I can't believe all this lives in his head I can't believe he conceived this I can't believe he brings this crew of brilliant minds and we all drink the Kool-Aid, you know, and then we're like, yeah, I mean, I'll stay up. I'll, I'll spend time away from my family. I'll travel everywhere with you and I'll try to figure this out because Pandora needs to come back to life again. What inspires me about Neytiri is the fact that she is a creature that is living in a world where having to be a feminist doesn't exist. It doesn't. It doesn't process through the minds of any males or any females. Um, I liked that, because I was never really playing the empowerment of her. I was just playing her essence. Um, I, like to, I like to believe that we can finally, one day, get to be in a world where women don't, do not have to actively empower themselves. But that is just like a birthright that nobody thinks of ever touching, you know? Um, so that's what I love the most about her. She's marvelous. To watch her is like, it's such a work of art. You're watching like a flower unfold and then all of a sudden you, you get with her on set and you do not recognize that you are talking to a woman that is 5'10", <laughs> that has walked this earth for decades before you and has made her mark and her presence be known. She is, she is 14, she is vulnerable, she is a child, she's rebellious. Um, she is scared, she is brave, she is Kiri. Everything about Kiri, it's Sigourney. It was such an amazing thing. I, I couldn't believe that that was the training that we were doing for a movie. You know, it just, it, it made it more than a movie. Um, it was fun.